How did I get here? Welcome to a video on how to get good at the physicist. Perhaps one of the most forgotten about characters in the game. Players who are able to master the art of targeting pockets will be able to show them how it feels to be on the receiving end of a 2v1. Let's get started. The physicist is a variant of the scientist class whose primary is that of an electric shotgun that shoots out bolts of lightning because in the PVZ universe that makes total fucking sense. The electric shotgun fires at 80 rounds per minute and has 6 ammo per clip before needing to take a 2 second reload. Each shot fired consists of both a projectile that can hit up to 28 damage and a close range spread which deals an additional 30 making him deal a potential of 58 damage per shot at point blank range. However, the weapon does suffer rather harsh drop off, with it going down to 20 damage for the projectile at medium range meaning that close range gun fights are strongly suggested. With the physicist being an electric variant, he also has access to chain lightning which can allow him to hit multiple targets within close proximity of the initial victim. The physicist can have up to 2 lightning chains with the first one dealing 10 damage and has a range of 10 meters, whilst the second one only deals 5 damage and has a range of 8 meters. The chain damage is not affected by damage drop off, meaning that if you feel like being an absolute prick then you can just snipe at heal flowers when someone goes to use them and you'll be forever hated by the enemy team. Happy trolling. The optimum upgrade setup for the physicist would be the ammo reload and damage upgrades. Though the ammo upgrade may be swapped out for health if you so wish, as because of the physicist having a rather generous 348 damage per clip if there aren't many high health opponents on the enemy team, then you may be better off going for the health upgrade and allowing for a bit more room in terms of breakpoints. In terms of strengths, the physicist's higher ammo capacity does allow him to take on more beefier opponents than most other variants, for not only will he be able to kill them within a single clip but his reload duration is slightly shorter, making him not have as much downtime. His chain lightning, whilst it doesn't come into play often, can help out greatly against pocket healers or if against teams that refuse to fight solo. However, the physicist's time to kill is initially weaker against lower health classes due to him requiring free shots to kill them, which may get him killed often. His chain lightning is also a double-edged sword, as it may end up making you rather outnumbered and possibly overwhelmed with enemies. Lastly, like most variants in the scientist class, he does next to fuck all at range. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of killing bum flowers often, only to get sniped by some camo cactus who was trying to hit a z-mech whilst doing a 360. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.